Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in. If you're new around here, my name is Kieran. I review fragrances, both niche and designer. So if you enjoy this video today, please consider subscribing if you wanna see similar content from me in the future. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about Memo Paris. This is a discovery set that I've had for a few months now. And I wanna very quickly run you through the fragrances that are in here. They do a lot of fragrances. They've got quite a lot of leather fragrances. In here we've got three unisex leather fragrances, which I'll talk to you about. And then we've got two female marketed fragrances and the rest are unisex. So today I'm gonna to very quickly run you through what these are all about and give you a very brief introduction to the house of Memo Paris. So Memo Paris was founded in 2007 by Irish and French husband and wife. They've come up with a really cool selection of fragrances which all have a story behind them and they are all inspired by something. The first thing that stood out to me about Memo Paris was their artwork on their bottles. Now, I haven't got a bottle unfortunately and you may not be able to see this too well, but even the presentation on this Discovery set I thought was really cool. It's kind of like a gold two-tone, probably why you can't see it because it's shining off of there but the bottles and the artwork on these fragrances are so, so classy. They're the kind of bottles that I would just want on display um, and they look super cool. Now, what we've got here basically is seven fragrances and I'm gonna quickly just touch on what they're all about. So what you've got here is you've got three leather fragrances over here, which are unisex. We've got two more unisex fragrances and then we've got two female marketed fragrances. So I'm just gonna to touch on these and then give a little bit more detail over here and just to let you know what their fragrance is about. Now, the first one up is Lally Bella, which is a floral and it's got rose, frankincense and patchouli. But to me, this is very rose heavy and very sweet, very feminine. Um, smells nice, but again, this is probably the only one that I had to wash off my skin because it just wasn't vibing with me. I know it's female targeted, but I still would like to try them all on skin. But this one actually, as it started drying down, I didn't like it. But some people really, really love it. But for me, I just didn't like it. It's the only one out of the ones I've got here that I didn't particularly like. So that was Lally Bella, which is predominantly rose and sweet, sweet rose. The next one we've got is Inlay. And Inlay, again, is a floral, but it's a slightly fruitier floral. And to me, in brief, this is a, this reminds me of a garden of really kind of fresh, delicate flowers. So it smells nice, but again, it's not something I could wear, and it is pretty feminine, in, in my opinion. We then have Martha. Now Martha's the first unisex one that I'm gonna be talking about, and this is predominantly tuberose and it smells nice. Again, I think it's probably more feminine leaning and I don't think it's something that I would wear or want to wear to be fair or could even pull off. It's not too sweet, it's classy, and on a lady I think this would smell really good. Next one up is an interesting one, is Sintra. And this is a very interesting one because as the color shows, this is very sweet, it's a sweet fragrance it's the first thing that comes to mind, but it smells really nice, and I don't generally like things that are overly sweet, but this smells great. The only problem with this is, I don't know when I would wear this, and I don't think I would want to be wearing this, but the smell of it is really, really nice. I've had some guy friends smell this, and they've also liked it. So I think it's one where, for guys anyway, some may like it and would wear it, and for the other half, they maybe wouldn't wear it, and I fall into that category. I don't think I could wear this and pull this off, but it smells great. I read that somebody said it smells like a can of grape soda, and that is now what I smell from it. Those cans of fizzy drink that you'd crack open and they'd be super sweet, that's what this smells like, but even sweeter. But very nice, it's very candy-like, and it's one that I like. So Sintra, really nice one. Yeah, probably more feminine leaning. I don't know if I'd like to smell this on a man or woman. I don't think I would. I just like the smell of it, but I don't necessarily think it would be fantastic on somebody, if that makes any sense. Now we come to the top three. Irish leather. 
Irish leather is a nice fragrance inspired by the Irish countryside and what this is and first off the leather in these to me they're not that leathery they don't they're not heavy strong leather fragrances leather is there but they're smooth and done really well now this Irish leather inspired by the Irish countryside is a kind of crisp and sharp green leather as I guess the Irish countryside may give you those kind of images and this reminds me of a cold morning in Ireland if you're kind of going out onto the fields or something like that I can really conjure up that image it's very crisp it's got juniper berries on top which gives it a very cold sharp feel to it it's a little bit rugged and rough and it's a really nice fragrance the thing I found with this is it kind of dries down a little bit designer like in my opinion um, that was the only thing it kind of dried down like maybe like Blue de Chanel and a few of those kind of fragrances but it's a really nice one I don't think I would pay the price to get a full bottle of it though but overall a nice fragrance I've got a few really good compliments with this one so Irish leather probably my third favorite from this line of seven my second favorite one as now I'm doing an order I guess is French leather now French leather is a more of a suede than a leather it's a unisex fragrance but I don't think I would wear this this is the one that I would like to see a woman wearing out of all of them this is super elegant and classy and from all of these here for a lady I think French leather is the one that is the most classy it reminds me of the inside of a lady's luxury handbag it's suede it's got rose in here so it's rose and leather but the rose is done so so well it's not punchy rose there's a lot of rose fragrances that I don't really like I really like this it's a rose fragrance there's not many that I would say that I would wear but this is one that I potentially would but for me on a lady French leather would be absolutely stunning so French leather comes in at number two and then my most favorite one is African leather man this stuff this I think is probably one of their um, best sellers and you probably hear a lot of people talking about it and man this stuff is amazing just smelling it from here oh. now what this is is cardamom saffron leather there's some oud in here but it's all just so nice it's cardamom heavy I love cardamom anything with cardamom in it I seem to like and African leather is an exotic warm spicy fragrance when I took this discovery set out yesterday, I smelled this again and I thought, this is actually somewhat similar to Tom Ford's Oud Wood. I've not heard anyone say that before, but if you want a slight comparison, what this is, is a more spicy, less smooth and less sweet version of Tom Ford's Oud Wood. Tom Ford's Oud Wood is, it's, it's smoother, it's a little bit sweeter. This is more dusty and more dry but really nice, really rich, really elegant, really sexy. It's just a stunning fragrance. Now this is the one out of all of them in here that I would purchase a full bottle of. And if you haven't smelled it out of all of them, African leather is the one to smell. It's just absolutely stunning stuff. Again, the leather in here, although it's a heavy fragrance, the leather is not dominating and taking over too much. It's probably more spicy with the cardamom and the saffron the leathers in there there's oud in here again maybe why I'm thinking Tom Ford's oud wood because again the oud in there is pretty soft and easy going I find it to be the same in here it's just a lovely well-rounded fragrance that's exotic and yeah it's just a really really amazing fragrance the house the fragrances they're not cheap they're not cheap at all um, last time I looked 100 mil not even 100 mil they come in 75 mil bottles and they retail for 440 Aussie dollars. I think in the UK they're like 200 and over 200 pounds, let's say anyway, which is a lot of money for 75 mil, not even 100 mil bottles. But I think the presentation on them and the bottles and everything is super cool. So it's probably one that if I saw African leather at a discounted price, I would go for it. Um, and I think there is some discounted places out there where you can get this, but yeah, African leather is absolutely stunning and my favorite from this. Now they've got loads more. They've got Italian leather. 
they've got Russian leather, they've got so many, and I did smell a few of them when I was in Paris and I smelled a lineup, but I was just smelling too many and they were all getting confusing. You know, this discovery set is a great way to smell the fragrances, get an idea of maybe the DNA of a house. And for me, it's the best way for me to really experience a fragrance and come to understand it. I can smell something and I can give my initial thoughts, but when I wear something a few times that really kind of then shapes as to whether I'm gonna to wanna to wear this, what I'm getting from this. So it's a great way to do it and yeah, one to possibly check out. But Mera Paris, really cool brand. African leather is one that's gonna be on my wish list. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video and taken something from it. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I will catch you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, bye.